Hi. So Swedish media they have a problem, right? They, they want to report news. And when there is a crime committed, they still want to report it because it's news. I mean, they want to sell uh, newspapers, right? But they can't uh, say where the guys come from. But still, they report it. And I have an example. It's a, it's a terrible example, this. It's awful stuff, but I will tell you. Because it shows how the media is handling this. There were five guys who brutally raped an underage boy. This was in Uppsala earlier on. And this went to court. So the, the information is available. So they raped him for over an hour in the woods outside of Uppsala. And uh, they filmed the attack with their mobile phones. The guy who is under the age of 15 um, and the, it was at knife point. He was severely beaten according to the court documents. Uh, the, attacker, the attackers beat him and grabbed him around the head, covering his mouth and dragging him into the, this woods. Right. So, the five guys denied. They all denied that they assaulted the boy. And some even said that they weren't even there. But there was a problem because they filmed it. Right, kids? And when they were done with this uh, poor guy, they said, you, if you go to the police, we will post this film on Facebook. And then they did it anyway, before they were arrested. So they posted the film. I, I suppose they were bragging. I thought, I mean, this is disgusting. They thought it, this was a... I don't get it. Right, so this was all reported in the newspapers. And, but they left out the fact that they, these, all these guys, including the, including the victim, were all uh, from Afghanistan. So that's, that's how, how they deal with this. It's like a parody of uh, life. It's like uh, it's like a movie where you where you leave, you know, after ten minutes because you don't you don't get it. It's so weird. Swedish media. All right. Have a good night. Bye.